question number 40 okay high speed electrons are directed at nuclei x a graph of the variation of the electron intensity with diffraction angle theta is shown okay it's an experiment on uh, diffraction okay so you see here diffraction angle is lesser it and intensity is also lesser then it increases okay now Electrons of the same speed are directed at nuclei Y. Okay, so you are going to have one more nuclei which have the double the diameter of nuclei X. Okay, what is correct about the nuclear density? Okay, first part is easy. Nuclear density, what does nuclear density depend on? It does not depend on anything. Okay, nuclear density remains a constant. So, which means nuclear density of Y is the same as that of X. So, therefore, this is correct. So, A and B are correct while C and D are incorrect. C and D are incorrect. Okay, so we need to decide on it. If you still have a doubt on how does nuclear density remain a constant? Do write back to me. I will definitely make a video on this showing a mathematical derivation how it is constant. Okay, let us move on to the next one. Theta minimum. You see, larger the object, the diffraction fx becomes much, 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 much smaller. Okay, so if you have a smaller object, it will be the diffraction minima would be, would be there. Okay, but if you have a larger object, then the diffraction minima will shift towards it or it becomes smaller over here. In fact, you can Describe this using using sin theta is equal to lambda by capital D. There is an expression like this, uh, wherein the dimensions of the object is D here. So when this increases, definitely the theta value will now reduces. Why do I say about the increase here? Because we have taken a nucleus uh, whose diameter is uh, twice that of the previous one. So therefore, definitely it increases and therefore theta reduces. So the answer here is the theta minimum will be much more reduction. So, thus the answer should be option E. 